Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, uh, uh, Mr. 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 Fu, uh, his name. Uh, yeah, he he's a very young young scholar, so that he he did his presentation just as an uh, American star. <laughs> but uh, I'm an old professor, so that I read, <laughs> I read only the text. <laughs> I read the <laughs> text. Uh, yeah, <laughs> look, look at that. <laughs> The concept of the continu uh, continuum of continu uh, discontinuity is in the later works of Kitaro Nishida. While Kitaro Nishida's concept of the continuum of discontinuity is originate in his middle period, it is also a central, central concept in his later writings, which are characterized by the key words as poesis, uh, acting intuition, and absolute, absolute contradictory self-identity. It is furthermore an important concept for the term of the present uh, conference, crossing, uh, this is because uh, the concept of the uh, continuum of discontinuity expresses the nature of the transition from form to form, mediated uh, by the term of nothingness. It need hardly be said that a significant concept in Nishida's earliest, uh, working, uh, earliest writing is pure experience. Uh, this idea is based on the notion of continuity uh, that can be found in William James and uh, Annie Bergson. However, while Nishida incorporated into his own philosophy uh, Bergson's concept of continuity as duration, uh, that is uh, uh, potentiality of heterogeneous element, he also goes beyond uh, his, uh, his concept, uh, Bergson's conception. In his later self awareness uh, period, uh, Nishida struggled to explain how uh, this kind of continuity is determined using the concept of the differentiation. For one cannot explain how the individual self arises if one only discusses the continuity and the experience without the, uh, without the self. Uh, the theory of the self awareness continued to into Nishida's uh, later period of the writing. Uh, in, in many, many later periods of writing, he used the word self awareness. But, but this uh, self awareness appears um, before the, uh, some, some <laughs> ages of press. Uh, here, uh, Nishida uh, contemplates a kind of hierarchical structure in connection with the uh, infinite, in infinitely broad pure experience and the arising of self-awareness as its determination. It is well known that the deepening of this hierarchical structure eventually led Nishida to absolute nothingness, a kind of bottomless, uh, uh, bottomless nothingness that goes beyond and rises at a different level from the opposition of being and nothingness. And that is the idea, uh, that, that, uh, and that this idea is harshly criticized by Hajime Tanabe. When we read Nishida, uh, it is important to keep in mind uh, which period of work uh, we are dealing with. Of course, uh, the theme of the pure experience, self-awareness, praise, and absolute nothingness uh, that I mentioned are all important themes for Nishida. He continued to use uh, these terms in various ways in his later works, it is not the uh, concept. It, 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 it is not that uh, the concept are important. Ah, Oda, Oda, can just ah, the resume is behind. It's all in there. Grab it, guys. Eh, so, 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 in this work as a crux of Nishida's entire philosophy. For in this work, uh, Nishida uses the concept uh, that is neither uh, the concept of continuity, uh, that the pure experience, nor the determining the severance of continuity, it's self awareness, uh, nor the thorough deepening of these ideas from place to absolute nothingness. Uh, this is a concept of the uh, continuum of this uh, continuum of, of discontinuities. It is highly significant that uh, it's highly significant uh, that the continuum of discontinuity is described in the uh, self-aware determination of nothingness. Uh, nothingness. Uh, for the continuum of discontinuity uh, is is not merely a negation of the continuity. Uh, it is the intru uh, intrusion uh, of the deepest bottom, uh, the limiting nothingness into the continuity itself. Uh, the penetration of the limit of verticality as a section into the continuum is described uh, in the temporal theory of eternal now, uh, the theory of other within the self, uh, and the theory of death uh, within life. What should we uh, further be noted is that Nishida strongly criticizes uh, Bergson's theory of creative evolution, arguing that the individual uh, can be, uh, cannot be described in terms of the continuity, uh, without uh, severance of death. 
Uber Genge, Uber Genge of uh, continuum of discontinuities uh, must, contain, must contain a thorough bottomlessness. It is in virtue of this bottomlessness uh, that there can be such a thing as an individual uh, with a form. If you think about it, it is clear that uh, this is the foundation of Nishida's great concept of acting intuition and absolute contradictory self identity. Acting intuition is an uh, integration of the contract, uh, contradictory concept of acting and intuition, spontaneity and uh, passivity. And uh, the concept of the absolute, uh, absolute contra contradictory self identity expresses the fact that. Uh, reality arises. Uh, reality arises where such contradictory become identical. Identical. Uh, at, the, at this right stage, however, the theory of poesis, uh, which is linked with acting intuition, uh, comes in to involve the new idea of historicity, whereas in the absolute contradictory self identity, uh, the direct dialectical opposition uh, between individuals are more emphasized. Uh, there, uh, these are not the same notion as eta, na, na, and I, and zu. Uh, that's right. Yet, uh, it is clear that uh, they are intricately linked uh, with the concept introduced in the self aware determination of nothingness. Uh, the fact that uh, Nishida emphasizes uh, in his later theory uh, what he describes as uh, from form to form, katachi kara katachi, is a reflection uh, in, of this uh, circumstance. Uh, uh, with the above in mind, let us examine the concept of the continuum of discontinuities. Uh, we will focus on the self aware determination of nothingness, a work uh, from the latter half of the Nishida's middle period. Particularly important is the I and the, yeah, it's the, art, uh, it's the essay, the article, uh, I and the, uh, Nishida, uh, the famous theory of the other. Uh, while uh, the self determination of the eternal now, uh, which deal with the idea that the self arises where the present determined itself, is also important. Uh, the following passage on time. Uh, deserve to be uh, perused. It can be said, uh, it is a quotation from Nishida, it can be said that time disappears and is born in each instant. Time can be under understood as a, as a continuum of discontinuities. If time can be understood in this way, uh, then we can regard time as touching in each instant the eternal now in two senses. In one respect, the eternal now is the aspect of death uh, that absolutely denies time. While in the other aspect, uh, it is the aspect of life uh, that absolutely affirms time. Here, Nishida claims that the uh, continuum, continuum of time is a chain of the instant, a continuum of discontinuities, uh, and that uh, uh, in each instant, time touches the eternal now. He further uses the word death uh, to describe the uh, negative character, and the word life to describe its positive character. Also, uh, also worthy of note is that, according to Nishida, when we think about the aspect of the eternal death, uh, we support an uh, eternal world of eta uh, material object. Whereas, uh, when we think about the aspect of eternal life, uh, we support an eternal uh, mental spiritual, spiritual world. Uh, this indicates that the continuity of these continuities, uh, the eternal now, has uh, the two aspects of death and life. Uh, Nishida's account indicates uh, the dual nature of eternal now, and sees in this duality something that is both uh, material and uh, mental or uh, spiritual. Uh, the same, uh, that same situation can be seen in the part of the I and the in, in which Nishida deals with the, the theme of the other, the central topic of this paper, and uh, this is a quotation from Nishida, very famous. Uh, phrases of Nishida. The I and the are absolutely other. Uh, there, is a, uh, there is absolutely no universal that subsumes both uh, the I and the. Yet, uh, I, I is the I by virtue of it, uh, its reco uh, recognizing the do, and the do is the do uh, by virtue of uh, recognizing the I. At the bottom of the I is exists uh, the do, and at the bottom of the do uh, is exists the I. Uh, here, Nishida describes a sort of uh, reverse correspondence between the self and the other. Uh, that is the necessity of the other as a negative moment for the emergence of selfhood. At the same time, he will illustrate this as being part of the structure of time. For uh, right after the above quote, he speaks of the progress of time, uh, which 
at the peak of instantaneous dissemination, transitions from instant to instant, and rise at an instant transition to another instant uh, through the self-negation hidden deep within itself. Uh, with respect to uh, individual self, uh, which is a significant, uh, significant example of continuable discontinuities, Nishida writes as follows. Uh, when uh, yeah, quotation from Nishida. Uh, when uh, an individual sees the other at its own bottom, uh, this, must, uh, mean, this must mean that the, at the bottom of oneself, uh, there is a clash with something uh, that absolutely neg uh, ne uh, negates oneself. Uh, the absolute uh, other, in this sense, uh, must mean something that kills me. Uh, and it must be something that gives birth to me. The expression killer and the give birth may simply be the metaphorical expression of the abstract concept of life and death. Nonetheless, uh, this is linked in some way uh, by the fact that we are born as matter. Uh, this is an important point in thinking about the term of the relation between absolute, contradict uh, absolute contradictories uh, absolute contradictories, uh, which Nishida deal with in term in term of the I and the other. Furthermore, Nishida crit Nishida's critique of Bergson's theory of creative evolution is interesting, and I skip the quotation. Uh, uh, what what we see here is Nishida's break from Bergson's idea of linking the continuity of duration with the pure experience of the self. He makes it clear. Uh, in his theory of the life containing this. Uh, that, uh, containing this, uh, that life itself arises as a continuum continue of discontinuities containing real severance. I want to highlight again the fact that Nishida drew a connection between the speciality and the materiality on the one hand, uh, which are important when discussing the individuals, and on the other, uh, and life on the other. For Nishida, individual can only be uh, formed. Uh, the concept of the continuum of discontinuities uh, can uh, thus be directly applied uh, to this discussion of Yuba Genge uh, from form to form. Uh, the concept of the continuum of discontinuities has a potential to link uh, with broader topics, not only through its own nature, but also through the contradiction uh, that it involves. In particular, it can be given a material aspect a material aspect. The concept thus has a significant ram ram ramification uh, for the expressing the acting self, uh, uh, acting intuition and poesis. Uh, like the concept of the eternal now and uh, the other uh, within the self, the concept of the continuity, uh, continuum of discontinuities uh, can be said to have appeared in Nishida's investigation, which started to form the theory of pure experience as uh, something that carries uh, the absolute vertical depth to the horizontal plane. It is fundamental for the concept of the right Nishida, uh, because uh, the central problem for the right Nishida is how to express uh, the continuity uh, with severances. Uh, the identity of uh, that is the uh, identity of opposite. Furthermore, uh, this expression uh, comes to the for, uh, for uh, most prominently in the material aspect of things. Of course, uh, Nishida's poses encompasses a historical element uh, such as language and the state. Uh, these are uh, constituted by ideas. Uh, but as, as is clear from the uh, contrast with Bergson I uh, mentioned before, uh, uh, Nishida usually uh, describes the poses in terms of things uh, such as life and matter. Uh, that is a uh, form. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, <I got> it. <laughs> that, that is form. Uh, for example, uh, in this essay, uh, in his, in his, his essay, Lonely the Same, Logic and Life, uh, published uh, in the Philosophical Paper Volume 2, a work, uh, a work that belonged to his right period. He strongly emphasizes that poesis has to do uh, uh, with the world of life, and is also a tool uh, involved in the formation of things. Uh, let me quote uh, some striking passages. Uh, yeah, I, I, I pass. I pass to read the quotation. I have. Uh, yeah. Uh, this passage, uh, this passage uh, uh, contains important ideas. First, uh, what are made by our actions are things uh, made in this world, uh, such as tools. And our bodies uh, that makes uh, these tools are also included in the things uh, that are made. 
if we look at uh, if, if we look at the process of evolution, we see that uh, there is both a biological continuity and discontinuity in our bodies. Our bodies, as well as the tools made by our bodies, are in a sense uh, made in the same way uh, through acting. Uh, in this sense, our world is entirely a creative world, a world of poesis. At the same time, the, wor the world uh, that is formed in this way is not a world, is not a world in which uh, things appear from nothing. Although uh, there are raptures, uh, there are, although there are raptures, new things are born. Uh, Nishida expresses this uh, by saying that an absolute, absolute nothingness is con uh, con uh, contained uh, within the stream of creation. Uh, the world ought to be interpreted as uh, as a world from form to form, katachi kara katachi, uh, from form to form. Uh, the creative world is no other than the world of Yuba Genke, and, and uh, it, uh, its logos is what is described as the continuum of these continuities. Uh, with respect to the uh, theme of the body, uh, Nishida cited Bergson's discussion in creative uh, evolution of the formation of the eyes and uh, goes beyond the discussion as follows. And uh, also I skipped, <laughs> I skipped. Yeah, in creative evolution, uh, Bergson discusses the amazing fact that animal species in con uh, completely uh, different uh, phylogenetic lineages have evolved to uh, possess similar sophisticated eyes. Uh, it, uh, it is just the main theme of the uh, uh, creative revolution of Bergson. Bergson tried to explain, uh, this, uh, explain this fact in terms of the eramital uh, vital force and the traces of this force uh, penetrating matter. In this case, however, uh, matter is merely an ob obstacle, barrier, obstacle uh, to the evolution. Uh, it doesn't contribute to creativity. Here, uh, Nishida criticized Bergson along the same line as in his critic of Bergson in the context of the continuum of, the, of discontinuities. Instead of uh, emphasizing that uh, the temporal uh, spirit as Bergson uh, da does, Nishida also emphasizes uh, the aspect of poesis uh, linked with the matter, arguing that time is space and space is time. Uh, just in context of the eternal now, uh, the material aspect, uh, material aspect of death and the spiritual aspect of life work together uh, to give life to the eternal now. So uh, form uh, is not merely spiritual, uh, but exists as something that is both spiritual and material. And we ought to think uh, of the creative formation as a continuity, continuity, it's a cont continuum of discontinuities. Although Nishida uses the expression history in this context, uh, this expression should not be understood as referring only to the human history in the usual senses. Uh, it should be understood in, in a much broader sense as encompassing natural history, uh, for example, the evolution of the uh, biological existence. Uh, the, fact that, uh, we, uh, the fact that we have a body and lives uh, in this world means uh, nothing else than uh, that we are a, per a participant in this creation of the world. And uh, then the, I, I read, yeah, I read, I read the, from, this is a uh, quotation from Nishida. When we consider the fact that we are in the midst of the world as a creative element and that we are at work inside the world, the world itself uh, must be expressive. The world is a self-expression of historical life and our body itself is an element of it. In life, uh, the element must be uh, completely self-determining self self and independent. Uh, Nishida's theory of poetry has uh, this kind of originality. Uh, he regards our materials, uh, ma material body as thing, which, uh, despite being a thing, is also a subject, subject of acting institution that performs actions. Uh, it is both uh, something uh, that is made and something that, uh, that makes, something that makes. It's a continuum of uh, severances. And this body, uh, this body creates tools which are of the same kind of, uh, as itself. Uh, this, is an important, uh, in, uh, this is an important point in the context of the technology. For, uh, this means that uh, we don't make tools, uh, rather, uh, rather uh, ourselves and the tools are both uh, contained in the logos of the world. Uh, yeah, I skip. <laughs> uh, in this way, 
Nishida makes it clear that tools and body reactions have uh, both a material aspect and spiritual aspect. Languages, history, and the uh, world of nations exist as a consequence of this. Uh, when Nishida takes up uh, the themes like, uh, like this uh, in connection with the poesis, or when he speaks of the historical body, he is not discussing a term unrelated to uh, that of the eternal now. Uh, the following passage is a uh, uh, summary of Nishida's book, and uh, I did <laughs> this quotation. Uh, we, ought to we ought to regard the historical present as the self-determination of the eternal now. There, uh, the temporal is spatial, uh, spatial, uh, spatial and spatial is temporal. Uh, it is a self-contradictory world, uh, the self-identity of the opposite. Thus, in, uh, in a sense, the world of acting in intuition, uh, where the self makes itself and is at the same time made, is a world of the uh, absolute contradictory self-identity. Absolute contradictory self-identity is a way of setting, uh, setting up a kind of logic uh, in the creative world. This leads to the topic of the creation. As the, uh, as the world of absolute contradictory self-identity uh, may, uh, may seem to be a logical consolidation of our foregoing discussions, uh, it is, however, a world uh, where individuals suppose in, in, in each in, con in, in contradiction. Let us begin by looking at Nishida's paper, Absol Absolute Contradictory Self-Identity. It, uh, it is published in the philosophical paper, uh, volume third. Uh, the actual world uh, must be a world uh, where uh, things work together. The form of actuality uh, can be uh, thought of the mutual interaction of the things. The world of the individual things working together is a world where things uh, that are ma made, that are made uh, move towards the things that make uh, in a uh, self-negating way. Uh, this is a, a network-like world, uh, yeah, complexity is just like complexity uh, in the science, uh, where uh, there is a neither a fundamental total one uh, nor merely an individual multi multiplicity. Uh, Nishida described this uh, as follows during the connection with the eternal now, and I skipped the quotation. Uh, uh, this uh, this uh, uh, typical Nishida, uh, this uh, that is a typical uh, Nishida passage, where phrases such as the present determination of the present, the eternal now, individual multiplicity, and absolute contradictory self identities uh, are uh, crammed into the passage. But Nishida wanted to describe using the notion of the absolute contradictory uh, self identity is probably the world uh, where individuals contradict each other and move in time uh, without being either uh, mere one uh, nor no, 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 no multiplicity. Uh, this is clear from Nishida's use of expression from form to form uh, in the following passage. Uh, the world of absolute contradictory self-identity, uh, which infinitely moves from uh, form uh, that which is made to that which makes uh, that, uh, yeah, uh, it is move that from that which made to that which makes is certain uh, self-formative. Uh, uh, from form to form, uh, it is a key word. Uh, in, the, uh, in, in other words, uh, it acts on its own in initiative. Yeah, that, that, that's it. Yeah. Uh, while absolute uh, contradictory self-identity uh, may, in a sense, seem like an abstract, abstract term, it should be understood as a term uh, that captures uh, the world of poesis itself, which moves from uh, form to form. Uh, what is important is the uh, form uh, and its transition. Tra transition. Uh, involved in this is a development from uh, past to future, uh, characterized as from, what, uh, from that which is made to that which makes. And uh, yeah, I pass the quotation. Uh, what follows uh, from this is that uh, the world of abs absolute contradictory of self identity is a changing world with a material aspect characterized as from form to form. Of course, uh, Nishida emphasizes uh, the importance of the historical body in this context. Uh, various things can be said about the historical event in the context of policies. Yet, here again, uh, Nishida uh, takes up Bergson's example of the biological evolution of the eye uh, and, uh, and states that 
Uh, to be born with a body uh, is a solution for historical nature, and that, uh, that this, in, this involves the infinite task of absolute contradictory theory identity. The aspect of natural history uh, cannot be omitted from Nishida's notion of history. Uh, the conclusion. <laughs> Uh, in the late Nishida's uh, philosophy, uh, uh, if the late Nishida's philosophy is an attempt to illustrate uh, the creative world of from form to form uh, with, a with the continuum of uh, discontinuities as its archetype and absolute nothingness as its medium, then uh, why should we uh, discern uh, its, char its characteristics? First, uh, we must consider that notion, uh, notion of from form to form. Of course, uh, various aspects of his uh, is, uh, various aspects of historical bodies are involved in the uh, context of this. To repeat, uh, there is a strong idealist tenor in the focusing on the example of language and the state, state, the nation state, uh, national nation state. As I, as I uh, emphasized, uh, Nishida's term of poesis has a very strong sense of opposition toward the Bergson. Uh, what is important here is that uh, our, body, our bodies, uh, which makes various things, are made of the same matter as those of the tools that are made, and the acting body itself, and, uh, and the acting body itself possesses an aspect of materiality. It is not the formless form, katachi uh, nakimono but uh, the from form to form, katachi katachi, and in this sense. A famous aspect of Nishida's statement on absolute contradictory self-identity is his use of the word sok uh, to join to join together uh, various contradictory things inside sok, outside, uchi, uh, uchi sok, soto, soto sok, uchi, uh, subject sok, object, object sok, subject, or etc. Et uh, what this uh, seems to imply is that in the world, uh, in the world of uh, poses uh, the side of the uh, the side of the world which plays the role of the environment and the side of the subject uh, which uh, sees uh, which which the other as 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 and that uh, while the subject is uh, something that makes and the logos reside, uh, resides in nature and the creative world come into being uh, through the mutual uh, re uh, reflection between the two a Nishida's theory of poesis is open to many lines of materialistic development. Uh, it leads, for example, uh, to Kiyoshi Miki's theory of transformation in the Koso Rokunuruni, a uh, logic of uh, imagination, and building uh, craft. In this presentation, how, uh, in this presentation, however, I, res I restrict myself to highlight the characteristic of Nishida's theory that later uh, made Miki's theory uh, of Yui Butron uh, and some materialist theory uh, uh, of creation, uh, it, it makes uh, this materialistic theory possible. <coughs> uh, thank you, thank you for listening. <laughs> uh, Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for your talk. It was really interesting. Um, and I, I really like drawing attention to uh, sort of bringing together sort of natural history and human history and thinking about it in terms of um, material questions mm. that come out of it. Mm. Um, my question is that um, how in this understanding of uh, history and continuity or discontinuities mm -hmm. um, we, uh, we can start to think of uh, material cultures and material structures mm -hmm. and how um, other products which don't fit our, uh, our you know, classical understanding of tools Mm. Um, fit into it, yeah. such as uh, artworks oh, yeah. um, and uh, things that are usually hidden from us as yeah. tools, but yeah. we yeah. Um, okay. engage with uh, on a regular basis. Mm. Does this mean we have to 
uh, kind of radically expand our understanding of tools, mm. or uh, is there a way of thinking about um, tools uh, in a more complex way that mm. fits these cases? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. The the, te <laughs> the point point of your question is, what what? Um, oh, um, yes. Um, <laughs> do we? Uh, how do we need to think of tools? Yeah, tools. Um, when we consider yeah. really complex cases of yeah, yeah, material. Yeah. Okay, okay. Either from Aristotle uh, or Aristotle or uh, very ancient ages, uh, the tools. Uh, it is a better question that the tools are. Uh, it, it is the human beings who make a tool, or a tool resides in its robots in the nature. And this is a, a very ancient, ancient problem. And Bergson also thinks about it. If one makes the art by the wood, uh, and makes some, some art things, uh, some art things is, uh, is not what the subject makes, but it resides already uh, in the wood itself. And uh, I think in this respect, uh, the Nishida says the very similar things uh, to uh, Bergson also. And I think that the, our body is just our body is just one part of the uh, logos of the world, world and the, and the tools which I made, which I made. Uh, that is a, uh, yeah, I am a subject in, in in a sense. That's right. Is uh, but uh, what I made is just <laughs> just uh, comprised uh, in the logos of the world, and so that uh, I think that uh, I think that it is a very yeah there is a very com com complex complex uh, complexities uh, in the problem. Uh, that's what I want to say. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know <laughs> that I answered. I, I didn't answer the well to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah, so Very interesting. Yeah, you want to I'm asking about the process in conclusion. Kigaki-san said that states that the acting body yeah. is not a problem form, but a uh, maybe moving oh, yeah. from form to form, yeah. and in this sense it is a new problem. But uh, I think, uh, mm. uh, at least for Nishida, mm. they can be united with each other. Oh, yeah. It's form and uh, from form to form. Mm. Yeah. Of course, the formless form is a special, uh, special word in, uh, in his uh, mm -hmm. middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I yeah. Think, uh, very oh, okay, 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 okay. Very okay. restricted sense that uh, maybe mm. he used several times, mm. and then in his last phase, mm. uh, he, he reverses the notion of moving from, to, moving from form to form, mm. but uh, of course uh, just from moving from form to form is mm. impossible, but mm. uh, the reason why he raises this notion is mm. moving from form to form is possible, mm. Mukite ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. So, okay, okay. <laughs> each form, uh. of course, uh, um, behind the uh, uh. separate uh, or uh, apart from uh, uh. each form, there uh. is nothing. Of course, yeah. nothing but nothing, because it's very uh, ambiguous and, uh, and the thing is like that. So, I think that uh, in my idea, uh, mm. you have to. You should mm. write. Mm. It is not only mm. a forward form, but uh, also. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay, I okay, okay, okay. Uh. That's right. Um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. All. yeah. Uh, I, 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 yeah. Thing, about the thing that uh, yeah. uh, I asked for, ask for you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that from form to form uh, is a transition, but uh, to, to, to. <laughs> 
uh, to be possible to this transition, it is necessary the bottomless, uh, bottomless bottom, <laughs> bottomless, bottomless bottom. That's that's right. And uh, to describe this bottomless bottom, one have to say that some uh, something very mysterious things or yeah. very very neg 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 negation of <laughs> negation of negation <laughs> negation. Uh, so that one cannot uh, express uh, uh, clearly uh, what is a. Uh, uh, yeah, absolute uh, nothingness. So, uh, Nishida, in, 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 yeah, as you say, in the middle period of Nishida, uh, Nishida wants to speak that uh, this bottom is bottom with the uh, actual word, uh, an ima, uh, shiofukumu, uh, uh, se. <laughs> yeah, it, it is, it, it, in one sense, an uh, actual word, but it is, in one sense, uh, a very vertical, uh, uh, vertical, vertical depth. Uh, so that I think that uh, to speak this, uh, this, uh, this form is, uh, and for me, for me, uh, the most important thing uh, to interpret the Nishida's uh, later works, or Nishida's later works. So I, I, uh, I emphasize the concept of uh, from form to form mm -hmm. uh, here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. I will confirm they can be united with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Or not. Mm. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Bad, so. mm. But uh, they can unite it? Yeah, they can unite it, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would like to ask uh, one very small point. Uh, yeah. Page four, the quote. Yeah. Mm. Uh, ah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, where Nishida says the world must be expressive. And I have a problem to understand what he means because at mm. the same time he talks about self-determination. Mm. So he wants to say that it's like the, that one thing that self-determines itself. Mm. But then I cannot somehow conceptualize expression because no. when I think of expression, I think that I express something else. Ah, uh, yeah, and okay. Then how do I connect okay. these two? That's like has been a problem for me for a while. Ah, uh, yeah, I see, I see. Uh, it is a very uh, delicate problem, and uh, I think that the expression is a word very, very uh, difficult to say. And, but but uh, yeah, uh, when Nishida talks about the poesis, uh, poesis or something, uh, he talks uh, about the language or uh, the nation state or uh, some inst institution of the uh, societies. And, but uh, I think that these things, these things is, is uh, an expression of the absolute contra contradictory of nothingness. <laughs> so, uh, if, uh, yeah, yeah, it's certain that I express something. <laughs> I express something to you. <laughs> yeah, that, that's right. But in that case, I is just, uh, just like, the, like this desk. Uh, this desk is expressing something to me. And I express something to this desk. I think that the world expressing things uh, have to have to be thought uh, in, in this way. It it seems to me okay. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Professor. Yeah. Thank you for your paper. I think yeah. um, this is a really important idea. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Nishida and it's not given enough attention. Yeah. Because. Um, the concept relies on, as you mentioned, the fact mm. that the world is not one. Mm. There's no place where I can stand where mm. the world looks to be one. Mm. And at the same time, there's no place I can stand where the world looks to be simply discrete individuals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. how do you consult? You came up with this mm. idea of mm. continuity of no continuity. Mm. Now, two problems. First yeah. of all, yeah. um, I'm not really sure that he understood Barisol. Correctly, ah. um, with regard to space and time. Mm. Um, for example, in Nishida, mm. when you talk of time, mm. you can talk of time as taking place in the basho. Mm. Right? Mm. That's exactly what Bergson says. Mm. Ah, Bergson he, say, he, he himself says that. Uh, the so, so the whole idea of having a homogeneous milieu mm. is a place in which contradictories mm. can coexist and where continuities can coexist. And he says even time. Mm. So the metaphor is spatial, but you can even use it to think of time. Mm. Just as Basho is a, mm. is a spatial metaphor, but you can use it to think ah, about yeah. time. Mm. So his criticisms 
from the period of evolution, mm. they're, they're not quite, I'm not sure he got everything that Bergson was doing. And that's uh, really yeah, strong okay, okay. in your paper, the criticism as a foundation for defending mm. Michigan. So I wonder about that. Ah, so yeah, oh, okay, okay. I wonder yes, about yes. the translation mm. of the word um, mm. oh, yeah. continuum. Ah, continuum, yeah. Because continuum has, has mm. uh, some basic connotations. Mm. First of all, it means one. Ah, uh, yeah, a, okay, that's okay. Don't want to say. okay. <laughs> and secondly, it means a series. A series, yeah. And that's what you yeah, don't yeah, want to yeah, say. A series, yeah. And there's a third <laughs> okay. possibility, which is a strict yeah. uh, physics meaning, yeah. which is between any two things, yeah. there's no gap. There's mm. always a third present between mm. any two things. Yeah. And that's what he doesn't want to mm. say either. Mm. He wants to say the exact opposite. Mm. What he wants okay. to say, I think, mm. is that it's a continuity, mm. but it's not an unbroken continuity. Oh, yeah. So it's he, it's not unbroken. Mm. And it's not always a direct continuity. Mm. There are, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Indirect mm. connections, ways to get around mm. it and so on. Mm. But the continuity is the important thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So um, I think maybe continuity in the end is a better word. Continuum, the connotations on all levels. Uh, exactly yeah, I see. I see. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> maybe, even in Japanese, how yeah. would you say that? Renzoktai. And in Dukta, yeah. Even physically, that. Uh, yeah, yeah, Mat Ma 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 mathematical connotation, yeah, there is a perhaps so mathematical connotation, yeah. Yeah, that, 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 yeah, I see. I, I, I think that, uh, I think that, uh, yeah, uh, Bergson's uh, pure experience is uh, be, very similar to the uh, duration, uh, durée uh, of Bergson. Uh, so that after, after the thinking, uh, after criticizing his own theory, uh, in Jikaku or uh, Basho, uh, he, he, he thinks that Bergson as a kasotek, enemy, a, a kind of enemy, a kind of enemy to critic himself, to critic himself, I think, I think to critic himself. So that uh, from the side of the Bergson, from the side of the Bergson, uh, Nishida says he's not uh, so, uh, it's not so right, that, that is po possible, that is possible. Uh, as a, just as a time, uh, Bergson thinks are more more complex thing. But uh, but uh, I think that uh, <laughs> I think that in in one side Nishida likes Bergson very much. Yeah. <laughs> so that so that he want to criticize in every phase uh, uh, Bergson. So so he makes himself to change his own theory. Uh, uh, I think that is so sad. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I think I, I'm I'm Bergsonian. <laughs> I'm Bergsonian. I think that Bergson is very good. And uh, just to say the continuum is, uh, I think that it has a mathematical uh, connotation. So that, but uh, in this ages, I think that the Georg Cantor, Georg Cantor theory of groups, or uh, uh, some kind of the uh, yeah, even that, that that's yeah, yeah, a set theory. A set theory, yeah, yeah. Set theory is, set theory. Uh, is, yeah. is, uh, is, is not what he means. I mean, he wants some kind of yeah, okay, okay, okay. No okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's okay. And, uh, we have one more question. If you can do anything in two minutes, that would be great. Ah, yeah. Is this, is this, is this uh, reference? The old edition ah, or new edition of digitalization? Ah, ah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. I think that it's a uh, reference uh, new edition. New edition. I, I think that the new edition. Thank you. Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I use the new edition. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. New edition. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry. Thank you for your presentation. It's yeah. Tomorrow I'm going to speak about self contradictory body. Ah. <laughs> it's very helpful for me to <laughs> yeah. around it. Um, Thank you. Uh, so I'm going to speak about technology. Yeah. And so I'm trying to understand how you should understand that. Mm. And uh, well, uh, that was already addressed in the first question. Well, thank you actually for asking that because that mm. was very helpful. Uh, what I wanted to ask uh, more precisely though is uh, more in the philosophical anthropology uh, mm. field. So Nishida um, is talking about, as you said, like yeah. the word creativity. Yeah. And um, so this seems to kind of homogenize Mm. Uh, all entities, mm. humans, animals, humans, yeah, 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 yeah. So okay, okay, okay. But on the other hand, it seems that historicity, for example, and the uh, yeah. states, yeah. that is on something that only human beings mm. are able to achieve. 
Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.